Right, put a couple of lines here. Well, we've got one equation of a line and a line that goes through two points. We're asked if they're parallel. Now, if they're parallel, we must have uh, equal gradients. So equal gradients is what we're looking for, if parallel. All right. Now, first of all, we've got 3x minus 4y equals 5. We need to get that into y equals mx plus c. I've gone on about that already on this paper. All right, so rearrange that, and I end up with 4y equals 3x minus 5. And so, therefore, y equals 3 quarters x minus 5 over 4. Okay, so the gradient of this is 3 quarters. So if the gradient between these two points is also 3 quarters, we're in business. All right, so to find the gradient, okay, we do, and I'm going to have to go off the page a little bit. The gradient equals the rise over the run, doesn't it? Rise over run. Okay, so we're going to do um, the y coordinates, which equals 7 minus 3 over um, 4 minus minus 1. So the y coordinates minus the x coordinates. Okay, which is going to give me 4 over 5. This is not the same as this. Okay, so therefore, no, they are not parallel. All right, so again, I've set it out nice and clearly to show where everything's coming from, and therefore, that's how I've got my answer. There's no debate about what means what. It's not just a random selection of numbers sort of dotted around the page. I've set it out in a logical way so the examiner can follow it.